Well, after that, that's a good question. After the event, and we got and you know, returned back to the, to the United to the United States, and I returned to our home in San Francisco and all that sort of stuff. What what major accomplishments began to take place? Well, several actually. Um, a whole new career started for me. I mean, here I'm in my seventies, and I'm suddenly a, a rock film star. I mean, this is very bizarre for me that this would happen, but. Um, it could be that people, I, of course, your film didn't get released until well after I became well known in films and so forth. But it could be that, um, it, I mean, if I could, if I could think of one thing, the fact that I could be human and know you were filming me and not be pretending, I think that spirit that I had in the film was conveyed in every filmic pro every film that I've made since so I am like I am right now tell it telling you my truth as best as I can um, and I was exactly I'm behave exactly the same way whether I'm in front of a thousand people giving a seminar or a lecture or if I'm in front of one camera giving a talk or if on television with Larry King or something like that I'm exactly the same person I, I don't change because the audience is, has changed I I tell my, I walk my talk, I talk my walk, just as I always do. And I think that if, it, if I hadn't had a chance, maybe, I don't know, if I hadn't been in your film and I hadn't had the chance to do that, to walk my talk and talk my walk, as I did in this movie of yours, it's possible that I might have been pretentious on other films. Because a lot of people are. I mean, in the, the film What the Bleep Do We Know or in The Secret, you can see all those guys are very pretentious. They got some. They're, they're, they clutch their ideas. They, they're very serious what they're saying, and they very really want to make sure that you understand that their way of doing it is the right way. And they know. And the real secret is this, or you know, the truth about the physics of it is that the quantum physics says this is really the way it is. And you know all that kind of, which I call nonsense talk, because people don't pay attention to it. You might as well be talking to yourself because nobody's listening. What they want to hear is some honest person say what's really going on. And if you don't know what's going on, they want to hear some honest person say, I don't really know what's going on, but I think it might be this. And I think that what's conveyed or what I try to convey in everything I do from this point on is that kind of honesty, that kind of directness, rather than skirting around the corners and hiding and, oh, we can't tell you this kind of thinking.